It is the most unusual trophy in golf, but one of the most stylish events on the European Tour. Polish-born sculptor Igor Mitterage, who now lives and works in Italy, was asked to produce something different to give to the winner of the Moncom Trophy each year. And he did a human torso with a golf in place of a heart. nice to come because a lot of players such as Fred and myself and, and Brad Faxon and David Duvall know a lot of the European players, know the players from all the world. The game's more of a worldwide game and you know in America and the United States so many players watch the Golf Channel. We watch the European events because they come on earlier so everybody's always interested to see what's going on in Europe and, and how the players are playing. So I think Freddie will play well this week. He's been playing pretty good. Needless to say David Duvall has won three tournaments in the U.S., leads the order of merit, money list in the United States. You know, very powerful young player, solid player, and Brad Faxon's here too. So, you know, it's, it's nice to see four good quality American players coming over and playing at the Trophy Lancome. David Duval has played on the European Tour before at the Scottish Open. He's played in the Open Championship, but this is his first Come visit on. to the continent of Europe. 69, 72, and 67 for David Duval. He's on five under par going into the final round. Married on Saturday, Fred Couples here, also here. Displaying his great short game. 76 late and 70 on Saturday. He too on five under par. And the defending champions going well too. 17 67 after 36 holes. Peppering the flag. Of course, in superb condition. The green is very soft. A lot of rain early in the week. And players taking advantage of that. Sunshine all the way this week, though, for the event. Romero with another round of 69, seven under with a round to go. Seve Ballesteros has won this title four times. He opens with a 69, but then slips out of contention. But he remembers back to 75. I remember the first time I played, that was in 1975 and 1976. I won. Uh, I remember I was playing with uh, Arnold Palmer playing. Uh, the last day, and I uh, remember I shot uh, 31 on the back nine, and I beat Arnold, and uh, that was uh, very special. Well, the crowd still flocked to watch Sevi Ballesteros for the third round, 75, and he's three over par with a round to go. But if Sevi's not playing so well, the young Spanish amateur Sergio Garcia is doing well. It's his eighth European Tour event as an amateur. 69, a 68, and then a third round 73 means he's on three under par with a round to go. He's being held as a new seven. Also in town this week and hoping to do better than he did in the Callan European Masters where he missed the halfway cut, Nick Fowler. I've got two sets of waterproofs and three pairs of waterproof shoes, so I'm ready for Europe. Well, it's right a cup. You know, the points started uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, so I'm trying to. Uh, do the best I can, trying to sort of jiggle my uh, schedule to make sure I play enough. So I want to qualify for the team in the the, uh, the normal fashion. Arguably Britain's greatest ever golfer, Nick Faldo, 11-time Ryder Cup player, and it's great to have him back. 70, 71, and 70 on day three, playing very consistently, not finding that magic touch on the greens. Well, in the Ryder Cup, he's often played with Ian Woosnam. Ian Woosnam with a 68 to 67 lead at the halfway stage. 
But then on day three, Muslim takes 77. problems in the green then he just couldn't make a putt went from left below right to right below left with his putting grip and struggled all day and looked a little bit wooden in his back back problems in fact forcing him to withdraw after 54 holes it's a good week for Greg Turner 67 71 and 68 for the New Zealander on seven under par he's tied with Omera with a round to go and Colin Montgomery is going well as he tries to get to number one on the Volvo ranking Last week's winner still hasn't got that real consistency, but his short game has been absolutely dynamite, getting down in two from all sorts of different spots and even managing to hold one or two. He may have had problems with his putting earlier in the year, but he didn't have any trouble with this one. 69, 68, 69, and he too is on seven under par, but it's a Spaniard, Ken, who leads the way going into round four. Yes, he's been playing very well in recent weeks. Second in the recent European Open, Miguel Angel Kim. Beautiful iron shot. Back at the par 312. But this, so far, has been shot of the week. His approach to the par 560, 541 yards. And it's a gem. Uphill all the way, setting up an eagle chance. He holds that putt, and that gave him a two-shot advantage after 54 holes. He's on nine under par, 204. He's leading by two from Turner, defending champion Omera and Montgomery. Anthony Wall, who's trying to finish in the top ten to secure his card for next season. Fred Couples, David Duval and Peter O'Malley all on five under par as we join action on the final day of the Trophy Longcombe. Weather this week has been absolutely superb. And Omera gets off to a fast start. For the first... Three, so he moves within one of the leader. Moves to eight under. And Montgomery's doing all right too from the edge of the green at the second. He'd piled the first, but that's a birdie three. He too is eight under. Jimenez drops two shots early on, but he birdies the fourth. And that shot there makes sure of another birdie at the fifth. Back to nine under. All pass from the first from Omera until he gets to the sixth. Another birdie for him, and he gets the nine under as well. Duval going along nicely. His tee shot was the shortest hole on the golf course, the seventh. Firing that one over the pond. His second birdie of the day, and he's on seven under. But Jimenez at the sixth, his second shot. Par five. Beautiful played the pin up on the upper level. And another eagle chance for the Spaniard. 11 under par after six holes. Jimenez will drop a shot at seven to slip back to ten. Omeda birdies nine to get to ten. And Duval after his birdie at seven, birdies eight and nine to get to nine under. Faldo is five under for the day. One of the few greens that he's missed. His third shot to the 14. And that would have been birdie number seven. At last, Faldo had a bit of confidence particularly on the putting surfaces. Aldo starting with three birdies in a row on this final day. Mark Amera at the 10th, in the left, rough off the tee. Bad lie, didn't make the green in two. Trying to save his par. Well, if you can win the Masters and you can win the British Open, you can always play the chip and run. It was a real delight. Chipping down the hill, very quick down there. He's facing Caddy there on the bank, Jerry Higginbottom. Romero on 10 under par through 10 holes, tied for the lead with the Spaniard Jimenez, who's played eight. Welcome back to the Trophy Longcombe. Quality field, quality competition, wonderful weather. As the defending champion, Mark Romero, Joint leader with Miguel Ankel Jimenez. It's down the hill at number 11. Just finding the light rough. Meanwhile, back on nine. Jimenez in the rough off the tee. In the rough, well away from the water, in two. Trying to save his par. And that chip and run, as good as Marco Mirrors on number 10. Saves his par, lovely touch. 
been an awful down round so far for Jimenez. Ten under par Omera. Ten under par Jimenez. Duval at nine under. And Yamo Sandlin's going well. He's moved to eight under par. He's seven under after eagling the 16th. Just in the light rough, making control a little bit more difficult. Been at the back of the green. 140 yards left for Omera. And pretty well controlled. Just over the back of this green is the water hazard, so you've got to be careful. A huge drive from Duval. Over 300 yards, just 90 yards left. Very soft holding green, this one. Good buddy chance for Duval to have a share of the lead on this final day. Huge crowds watching the trophy long come. Here's Fred Couples. He's up the short 12th. He's six under. Start of the day at five under par, so not much happening for Fred Couples. Glorious iron shot. Pin on the back left corner of the green there requires a high soft draw. Perfectly executed. Greg Turner was out in one under par, so he's now eight under par for the tournament. This is his second shot to the tenth. Unusual green, this one that slopes away from you, but of perfect fairways, the player's able to stop the ball very quickly. Playing with uh, Turner Colin Montgomery. In the water for a double bogey at the short seventh, in the water again at nine to drop a shot. His chance of winning slipping away. Neither holes for birdies. Forward on the 11th, Omera for three. A marvellous putting action, Omera's. Beautiful tempo. Just misjudging the pace of Ranchin up the hill. Well, here's one man who really is enjoying his final day. Sandlin is putting for another birdie. This to get to nine under. He's eight under par for the round. He needs a birdie at the last to equal the course record of 62. Duval for his birdie. Whoa. Tops the US money list. No weaknesses in his game. He's made over two million dollars in prize money this year alone. At the tenth, a minute for par. Up the hill from the left. He's only made three pars so far. I have to say it was a little unfortunate. He loses his share of the lead. Omera leads on his own. At ten under. Emina and Duval at nine under. And Duval's on the tee at twelve. Omera and Duval both parred the eleventh. 186 yards the hole is playing today. A little bit of good fortune. One of the nicest par threes on the golf course. Just tempts you into drawing the ball. So easy to overdraw it. Down breeze, a six iron for Amera. Putt first, and Duval may learn from Omera's putt. Sandilin at the last. The par three down the hill. One of the toughest holes on the golf course. Water on the right, bunkers on the left. It's a real nerve test of this one. An awkward spot for Sandilin. Not in the bunker, I don't think. At the 11th. Won the Tour de Spanier Masters Open to Baleares earlier this year. Was, of course, uh, first lieutenant to Sevi Ballesteros in last year's Ryder Cup at Valderrama. A chance to watch this magical rhythm of couples. His tee shot at the 13th, going with a three wood. The further you drive up this hole, the narrower the fairway gets. So many top international players have competed in this event since 1970, but 
Young Anthony Wall from Sunningdale is trying to keep his card for next year. He's currently 127th. Needs a good finish here this week. His second at the 12th. What a beauty. Just at the right time. His mum and dad are out watching. He needs a top 10 to retain his card. And getting plenty of encouragement from his two great playing partners, Kavala and O'Meara. Yes, played yesterday with Nick Falder and was very complimentary about the encouragement he got from the six-time major title winner. O'Meara for two. Surprised that that didn't turn a little more from the right. Duval was having a close look at that one, putting on a similar line. Now the hole behind, the approach of Jimenez. <laughs> what a brilliant shot from the Spaniard. He was second at uh, the Smurfit European Open at the K Club. He's had three top tens in the past four weeks. There's his guardian statistics. Hitting more greens in regulation this weekend. That's certainly been the key to his success. He's driven pretty accurately as well, and he's 100% in sand saves. Now, has Duval learnt anything from O'Meara? It's a little bit from the right. He's going right into the centre of the cup. And he moves to 10 under. Two Americans lead on 10 under, Duval and O'Meara. Sandlin with Jimenez on 9 under par. Sandlin missing the green at the short 18th, didn't get a birdie too. This was how he completed his 63. Matching the 63 earlier in the week of Michael Long. What a final round by Sandlin. An amazing effort. Started with a bogey. Seven birdies and an eagle. What a remarkable effort. Back in 29. And he leads in the clubhouse. Out of the 13, Fred Couples to move to seven under. Story of the day for Fred Couples. Unfortunately, he'll stay at six under par. But opportunities still to come for him. You never know. Difficult to pick the wind on this 12th tee. Very sheltered. And now this birdie at 11th and every chance of another one at the 12th. Tell you, he said that... Uh, all he would be trying to do on this final day, Eminem, would be to stay calm. He certainly is. Brand Jr. at the 14th. He's six under par. Eight-time winner in Europe. The last time back in 1993 where he won the European Open. He knows how to win, and so does this man. What a year he has had. It really all started when he won the Longcomb last year. What a 12 months. Hadn't won a major, was into his 40s, and then won the Masters and the Open after a great battle with Brian Watts at Royal Birkdale. The same can't be said for Nick Fowler. His best finish on the American Tour, 22nd this year. He's had one top 10 finish since he won the Los Angeles Open over a year ago. A perfect tee shot at the 17th. And at eight under par, got a chance to win the tournament if he could finish 3-2. Turner's still in the hunt for that first prize of 133,330 pounds. Inches away from going to nine under. better this week in Paris than he did at the British 1-1 One One Masters. Just the halfway cut at the Forest of Arden when he was defending. O'Meara. Oh, what a putt from O'Meara. He goes to 11 under par and he's in the lead on his own again. That at the 13th. This is Faldo at 17. Just avoided that divot. Second place a little downhill. Very much the percentage shot. Pin cut tight to the left in the 17th. So an outside chance of a birdie. 
Very much a birdie chance for Miguel Angel Jimenez at 12. He dropped a shot at 10, but he's birdied 11 and 12. And now he shares the lead again with Amera. What a battle for the title. Mark Amera and Jimenez at 11 under par. Duval just in behind them at 10 under. But Sandalin in the clubhouse at 9 under. And Nick Fowler with Greg Turner on 8 under par. It's another classic trophy long haul. The final round of the 1998 Trophy Longcombe. Anthony Wall chipped in at 12 to move to 7 under par as he tries to finish in the top 10 and uh, retain his card for 1999. He parred 13. Second shot to 14, giving him another birdie chance. Playing so cruelly under pressure. And the 13th. Minutes for another birdie. Three in a row. Amazing it for just three parts of his round so far. Amela moving to 12 under par and into the lead by one from Amela, two from Duval, three from Sandalin in the clubhouse. Anthony Wall, by the way, didn't hold his putt at 14. He's still seven under. And a slightly worried look from Amela. And it scuttles amongst the pine trees there. His tee shot at the 15th. And you're almost always going to be stone dead if you do that. The whole dog legs from right to left. Nick Faldo missed the green at uh, the last. Didn't make a birdie at 17. This is a brilliant finishing hole. Par three, everything sits there in front of you. So, so difficult with the water on the right. A lot of players miss it down the left and Faldo struggling for his par. Duval at 15. Massive hitter of the golf ball, lovely rhythm. Sixth in driving distance on the US Tour, averages 287 yards. Back on 14, a minute. Third shot, in trouble off the tee. Executed shot and a very awkward putt. He's left himself down the hill with a, quite a lot of swing from right to left. Fowler at the last for par. This for a round of 65. Yeah. Great to see. He's been struggling all season. One of the legends of golf this side of the Atlantic. And a super round of golf. A great start. Three birdies in the first three holes. And a bogey free back nine, back in 32. 70, 71, 70, 65 for Faldo. Second shot at 15 for Duval. And they finished second at Augusta to Marco Meran. That's an Augusta type putt. That is very, very quick. Romero has come out of the trees to there, got the ball back into play. This is the shot of the par 4, 15. So he's under a bit of pressure. That's <laughs> 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 shot that, while the ball's still running down the hill there, it's got to stop sometime. There it has, but he has the chance to save his par. Chance for him and is to save his part. A nerve test of this one. He slips back to eleven under par with Mark O'Meara. Turner at the fourteenth for a buddy. This to get to nine under. Not out of it. World rank number 67, very keen to get in that top 64 to qualify 
with the big money in the World Championship events, and he's certainly heading in the right direction. Duval at 15, down the hill fast, curling. Ah, straight in for Duval, and it's a three-way tie. Duval's at 11 under, Omera's at 11 under, and so too Jimenez. But can Omera stay 11 under, this for par, at 15? Oh, don't know how that stayed out. That leaderboard, the top of that leaderboard changing all the time. Now it's Duval and Jimenez, who tie for the lead on 11 under par. Omera is one behind. We join Turner back down the fairway at 15. Ideally, you want to get this one just about pin high, a little bit to the left. I suppose if you're going to miss the green, you have to do it on that side. It's almost impossible to get down in two from the right. At 16, Duval, perhaps sensing victory. On his first appearance on the continent of Europe. I think that's found the right-hand bunker. They've moved the tee forward on the 16th. Though it's playing back into the wind, it's just about reachable in two. In the left rough, in the trees at 15. That one's going left as well. There's all sorts of trouble down there. So he's not going to be able to reach the green in two. The question is, will he be able to make it in three? Dropped a shot at 15, in trouble at 16. Back on 15, Jimenez. Frederick Jakobsen of Sweden hold his second shot with an eight iron here earlier today in a closing round of 67. That's the view the player has of the top of the pin at the 15th. Another terrific goal shot. We've also had two holes in one this week. Parnovic and Sholem both hold their tee shots with a five iron to the third. Peter O'Malley, who was joint third last year, is putting for a birdie at 16, the par 5, up the hill. Oh, that looked as if it was going straight into the hole with just a foot to go. He'll stay 7 under. He had a chance to win the Johnny Walker Classic, the opening tournament of the year. Tiger Woods came charging through there. Now Amara has got to try and nudge this 30 or 40 yards up the fairway so he can reach in three. Dangerous shot. back in play again. It is a par five, remember. Couples at 16 for a buddy. The putter has been cold. But it's warming up. He's seven under par. If he could birdie at the last two holes, he would uh, tie Sandler in the clubhouse on nine under. Big swinging putt. It just seemed to bobble about a little bit, that one. No birdie. But he'll make his par. Found the left rough. 215 yards to the front of the green. Cuppy lie with a three wood. Didn't quite make it. It was a long way up there. We hear from the golf course. It's just cleared the bunker, so it's on the little lip. Greg Turner for his par at 15. <laughs> well, hold. He stays nine under. David Duval and Miguel Ángel Jiménez lead the way here on 11 under par. Omera, 10 under, but struggling at 16. Yamo Sandlin and Greg Turner are on 9 under. Duval has played out of the fairway bunker to here. 88 yards to go. Slicing under it. And a little unlucky that didn't spin back a fraction more than it did. 
it's a good inward half, isn't it, Ken, here at uh, Sanom Labertesh? Some testing holes, good finish. Crack a jack of the tea shop. He's enjoyed this 16th so far this week. Jimenez, eagle yesterday. Yes, that uh, marvellous shot up the hill. Maya for Romero, but uh, let's see what the Open champion, the Masters champion, can do. He's full shot to the par five. And... He's yeah. not going to drop a shot, Kent. But he would have been looking for a birdie at that 16. Couples at 17. Then remember, well over to the left-hand side of the green, close to the bunker. Shying out to the right, it's Couples' second appearance here. Top ten on his first. Duval for the lead. The clear lead. The lead on his own. Never really on mine. I think it must have been a slight misread and a bit of a pull as well. Most uncharacteristic. Still, he has brushed in. The green is clear. Miguel Angel Jimenez, the second shot, finishing in a bad lie in the rough. Pressure beginning to tell. Still not on the green in three for the Spaniard. Seventeenth tee, Duval. I suppose the ideal line is down the right-hand side up the green with the pin on the left. Oh, well, that's just perfect. It's long as well. Avoid the divots. Lovely lie. Took him a while to learn to win, but when he did, he's really taken the bull by the horns. Six wins in America in the past 12 months. New Hansen's on the last. This for 68. 74, 68, 68, 68 for Per Ulrich Johansson. He'll finish this year's trophy Longcomb on six under par. Lovely eagle at the eighth and accumulating his first Ryder Cup points. Yes, and finishing just ahead of uh, Sam Torrance, who had a closing round of 64 for five under, 279. Fred Couples at the 17th came out of the bunker. Made his par, stays seven under, one to play. Omera could do with a birdie. And it's online. And knowing how well Mark Omera putts, that could be three. He could be back sharing the lead again with a hole to play. Jimenez having to work hard at 16. Like all the Spaniards, his short game is usually pretty sharp. Has been working very, very hard in his game in recent months. 139 yards left for Duval. Back into the breeze. Well played. Anthony Wall is playing partner found at the right-hand bunker. And we think he needs two pars to retain his card. He has his own precious. A minute for par to stay 11 under. Excellent putt. Very missable. But the Spaniard stays sharing the lead. Oh, what a day it's been for Anthony Wall. Playing with two of the top international stars and certainly not being phased, in, indeed inspired by them. It was a brilliant shot. Didn't want to leave himself a nasty four-footer. A tap-in for his par. Well, can Duval get to 12 under? This to take the lead. Just turned right at the hole. Yeah. Naval 
has tapped in. Tori's bar. Now a mirror. To make it a three-way tie. The ball will break a bit from the left, coming off the slope of the green. One of uh, Marco Mere's better putts. He stays at 10 under. One shot behind David Duval and uh, Miguel Angel Henry. That's the Trophy Long of 1998. Boils up into a tremendous finish. That's a normal British. <laughs> Cameraman Steve Gilliman. Stars in his eyes. Johnny Miller twice, Mark Amera, Tommy Aaron, Billy Casper have all won this title for America. Sebi Ballesteros and Jose Maria Olafable for Spain. Jimenez is on the 17th tee. Sharing the lead on 11 under. Brave par of the 16th, just in the right-hand semi, will make control substantially more difficult with his approach. Right couples down the hill at 18. So few players have managed to find the putting surface. It's the hardest hole on the golf course all week, averaging at 3.33. There have been just three birdies on this final day. One of them by Eben Darcy, who Played so well in the earlier rounds. That's the situation. As Turner prepares to hit his second shot to 17. Good crowds watching the play. Two behind. We've had a New Zealand winner of the Trophy Long Kong. Frank Novello is a former winner here in Paris. than he did, just catching the little ridge at the front of the green. So another scramble to save par. Third man in this group is Colin Montgomery. Nothing much happening for him at all today. Out in 38, three over par. And all pars on the way home. Probably a birdie coming here at 17 for Montgomery. He's currently five under. And six shots off the lead. Not going to do enough this week to get to number one ahead of Lee Westwood who closed himself with a 77 and finished way back uh, on 292. Eight over par. Another oh, shot from Fred Cutters. I just love that lazy action of his. Chance to save his par at the 18th. Up that little slope, just short of the green, using the putter, Jimenez. Well judged for base. And all those putts are tricky under pressure when you're trying to win the title. Come on, Fred. It's been the story of the day. In fact, the story of his closing 36 holes. He's had four subpar rounds. Two 780 finishes on at six under. 70, 68, 70, 70 for Fred Couples. He's in the clubhouse on six under tide with Per Ulrich Johansson. One of the most frightening holes to finish with. Water right, bunkers left. Duval was in the water yesterday in the third round, made four. Oh, I don't believe it. I do not believe that for the second day running, David Duval has hit into the water on the right-hand side. And what a moment for Anthony Wall, standing there back on the tee, seeing his playing partners find the water. He can take four and uh, finish in the top ten and keep his card. He doesn't want to take five, so he's going to stay out of trouble. Certainly stay out of the water. And he's done that by going down the left on the downslope in the bunker.
pack on 17. Turner has come out of the bunker and makes par. Stays at nine under. Quietly moving along. Adam Tooney himself. Another big check. Still with a, perhaps a chance to win. 208 yards. This 18th playing. Another one going left. Grandstand over there. Well, they get a free drop away from the grandstand. Omer has played this hole in 3 4 4 so far. Certainly struggling for a par today. Jimenez, a tester for par. Hold a good one at 16. So he slips to 10 under, and for the moment, Duval at 11 under par is in the lead, but he's in the water at 18. Amara also at 10 under. Has dropped in the drop zone there. So when you weigh up all the possibilities, the probabilities, if he can pop this one in the hole, it might be to win. Only David Graham has ever successfully defended. That was way back in 1982. It'll run on and get ever closer as it comes down the hill. Good shot from Amara. Brad Faxon, by the way, finished uh, on 284, even for Mansell, with the other American who made the halfway cut, Bob May. Anthony Wall. Playing back towards the water, awkward shot, but a beauty on the last hole. Certainly not playing over the last two days here at the long term like someone who is trying hard to keep his card. And that is Duval's ball lying in the drop zone. Horrible little chip. Tight line, no green to work with. Did make four from here yesterday. Oh, nearly into the hole. He's got that for four. That's Tom Wall, Anthony Wall's father. Looks on anxiously. As he watches his son, this for three. Oh, guarantees a top ten finish. He's guaranteed his card for next year. He's going to make over £22,000. What a day for Anthony Wall. What a week for him. And what a weekend. 67, 69, and a top 10 finish. He'll be playing next week, too, in the Lindy German Masters. This for the bogey. It's to finish at 10 under. Well, you don't believe it. And this was a double bogey. He still manages to get round in 67. Well, who's going to win? A five at the last. The par three final hole for David Duval. Four yesterday. Five today. Three over par for this hole over the weekend. And back up on the tee, watching all this. A minute. Duval back on nine under par now. Tied with Sandilin. And Omega misses too. That was for par. He takes, well, that's not dead. He's got that for four. So Omega in the clubhouse and nine under par, a closing round of 69. The Rolls and nine under, Sandlin's and nine under, back up on the tee at 18. Miguel Ankel Jimenez at 10 under. Greg Turner is nine under. Greg Turner looking for a birdie to finish ahead of the two Americans and the Swede. Perhaps play off with Jimenez, or maybe even win if Jimenez takes four. Got to hit the green. And he does. It's a long range effort, but Turner has that for two. That to finish 10 under. There's only two more shies at the hole in one prize. A lovely car for that from Europe car. Tough old hole to try to win a car at. I think the car is safe. That's going left. That's Montgomery. Well, when Montgomery won the Longcombe Trophy here, he played a super little shot from down there. 
to make his par. Not going to win this year. Anywhere but in the water. <coughs> well, he too will be playing from the drop zone. From one of the drop zones. Tension building up here at the close of the 1998. Trophy Loco. His wife, Miguel Arco Jimenez's wife, Montserrat, has never been at a tournament and seen her husband win, although he's won three times on tour. First prize, £133,330, or the equivalent in Jimenez's case of Ryder Cup points. Never an easy chip up over the bunker, all downhill, water just the other side. He's found a nice lie. He plays these shots well, very well, exceptionally well. He's in the hole, would you believe it? What a finish by Miguel Angel Jimenez. A two, the only the fourth two of the afternoon. Oh, his wife is delighted because her husband has won 133,330 pounds. He's won the trophy long come. He's beaten. The Open champion and master champion, Mark O'Meara, he's beaten David Duval, the man who's leading the American money list with over $2 million. He's beaten Yarmo Sandlin, who finished with a 63. The third Spaniard to win the trophy long term, Seve Ballesteros four times, Ola Farbel, and now Miguel Ankel Kamene. He was vice captain, if you like, of the Ryder Cup team last year at Valderrama. Maybe next year at Boston, he'll be playing. He moves to the top of the Ryder Cup points table. Greg Turner didn't make two, which would have given him second place on his own. But he has made sure of the three to finish in a tie at nine under par. Turner's putt for two worth 35,000 pounds, the difference between finishing second on his own and second with three others. Colin Montgomery finishes on five under par and doesn't do enough to get to the top of the ball. <laughs> Amazingly, just one birdie on his card on the final day, but what a week for stories. Jimenez winning, uh, Nick Faldo back on song, Anthony Wall keeping his card. Jimenez thinking of the Ryder Cup. Well, I didn't have him been yet in the Ryder Cup. I hope uh, I get in the team from next year. But the thing is I have to play uh, week per week and uh, forget the Ryder Cup. Just uh, play the, the week that you play at the, at the moment. Well, on the Volvo ranking, Lee Westwood still on top. Alan Clark in second place and Colin Montgomery third. These three will be playing in the next event, the Lindy German Masters. Montgomery just £22,000 behind Westwood as Montgomery tries to finish number one for the sixth year running. But Ken Brown, this surely, shot of the week. Two great shots, one from our cameraman Steve Gelliman and an even better one from the guy in the What a spectacular way to win the trophy long term, 1998. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.